This is Eagle News America. I'm Anna Kui in Las Vegas. In Compton, two Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies are ambushed and shot multiple times by unidentified gunmen. In North Hills, Rafaela Tigno reports. Thank you, Anna. Two Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies were ambushed and shot multiple times by unidentified gunmen in Compton, California. Los Angeles County offers a $100,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspect. Yesterday night at around 7 p.m., two Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies were shot multiple times by a gunman while the officers were sitting in their patrol vehicle at the Compton Terminal of the MTA Blue Line. According to law enforcement, the suspect approached the deputy's vehicle and opened fire without warning or cause. The culprit, who is still at large, is described as a black male, 28 to 30 years old, wearing dark colored clothing. In a grainy surveillance video, a, an individual can be seen in the background walking away once the gunman begins running from the scene. It's not clear if the individual is his simply a passerby, but authorities are asking that if anyone saw or knows anything about the shooting, to call LA County Sheriff's Department Homicide Bureau at 323-890-5500, or if they wish to remain anonymous, to contact Crime Stoppers by dialing 800-222-8477. A $100,000 reward approved by the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors is being offered for information regarding this incident that guides to an arrest and conviction. In a press conference, LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva described the incident as an ambush shooting carried out in a cowardly fashion and ask that the public pray for the recovery of the critically wounded officers. Let's listen in to part of his statement. Take a look. Good evening, everyone. At approximately 7 p.m. this evening, at the Compton Terminal of the Blue Line, the MTA Blue Line, there was uh, two deputies who were ambushed by a gunman in a cowardly fashion. They are both critically injured, multiple gunshot wounds. They are currently uh, being treated for at the hospital. So I want everyone to have a, a prayer for them, for their recovery at this time. And um, I'll have a homicide captain, Ken Wagner, will provide more details on the status of the investigation as is happening right now. And uh, this is just a sober reminder that this is a, uh, it's a dangerous job. Latest reports identify the deputies as one male and one female. Both suffered multiple gunshot wounds and were undergoing surgery. Disturbingly, in a tweet from Los Angeles County Sheriff's, protesters were reported as blocking the entrance and exit of the emergency room of the hospital where the officers were taken. According to the tweet, protesters were yelling, quote, We hope they die referring to the officers who had been shot. Deputies at the hospital ordered the unlawful assembly and dispersed and arrested one adult male for refusing to comply and another adult female who reportedly ignored commands to stay back but instead rushed officers. Both individuals were charged with resisting arrest. President Donald Trump also weighed in tweeting animals that must be hit hard condemning the attack. In North Hills, California, Rafaela Tigno, Eagle News, we live in interesting times. Back to you, Anna. Thank you for that report, Rafaela. Now, there are reports that the woman arrested outside a hospital with protesters is actually a member of the press. What information do you have on that? Anna, KPCC, a local public radio station, has claimed that their reporter, Josie Wing, was the one who was arrested. The story as to why the arrest happened is still being sorted out. But on Miss Wing's Twitter page today, she tweeted that she's out of county jail and headed back home. 
she also stated that she was video recording the exchanges between the law enforcement and the protesters outside the hospital where the two deputies who were shot were taken to that night. Although she had her press identification on her, she said that she was arrested with the charge of obstructing a peace officer. Anna. All right. Well, thank you, Rafaela, for your for your report. Um, stay safe out there. Now let's continue.